All right, everybody. Brad Stevens here just to give you another review of my latest acquisition. Today is a Friday. I guess it's the 28th of January, 2022. And I have with me today a very, very uh, high-quality instrument, I have to say. This is a 1937 authentic aged Martin D28. It features a torrified Adirondack spruce top, red spruce top, uh, Madagascar back and sides on this guitar. Of course, forward shifted bracing, the 37 uh, Holy Grail uh, specs, if you will. Uh, same neck as what you would find there. Again, it is a genuine Martin guitar, uh, 1937 authentic aged Waverly tuners. Uh, I think that's pretty much all the details that probably is important. Maybe high glue. It's high glue construction. Of course, it's relic some, as you can see, which is not typically what I play. But when I played this guitar, uh, I realized real quick that I actually didn't even notice a lot of the relic and that was done on the guitar at the time because the uh, sound of the thing just blew me away. So... I just want to give you a little sound clip. I'll probably go a little longer this time because I want to show you how it performs capoed, you know, down the neck. It's just unbelievable, but really good guitar. We'll give you a little run here of some, just in the open G here, of some rhythm. <laughs> Never, never, never seen quite the note separation and clarity and really you get deep in the in the bass strings and you get what you need out of every string. That is the most responsive uh, bass E string that I've had the privilege of having in my lap. I, that that that's just really, really good. That's a little bit in the open, but I really want to show you how it just keeps right on holding on when you put the capo on. Uh, me and my brother's band, uh, we do a few songs out of E right there. see it's hanging right in there and even with the picking I'm not the greatest picker but I just want to show you some of the note separation <laughs> like a Martin's supposed to give you a little of the rhythm here just in the in the A position. <laughs> I'll skip on past B flat and go on down to to the B position where a lot of bluegrassers pick at. Just listen to this thing. We do a couple songs in C and this it really
literally losing nothing. All the way down the neck, it's almost like it keeps getting more and more powerful as you put the capo on and go down the neck, but as far as... Matter of fact, I'm not sure that I won't even have to redo the video because it may be distorting it so loud. I've just never had a guitar that's quite that loud and does what this guitar does, so I say kudos to Martin, the 1937 authentic aged D28 with Madagascar back and sides, Torfied, had a round deck top. These things are for real, guys. I'm just telling you, I, I, they are something else. So. So I guess all I can say is if you get an opportunity to play one of these things, do it. Uh, you're going to really enjoy it. Uh, I played a few of these when I bought this one down at Music Outlet in Sevierville. They've got a couple more even right now that are really good. To me, this one was a standout. Obviously, that's the reason I bought it. But there's a couple more that's really, really good as well that I know is gonna gonna satisfy any guitarist out there. <laughs> There you have it, 1937, authentic aged Martin D28. I do not think it would disappoint. Thank you very much.